This video will walk you through unboxing and setting up your double. First, take your double out of the box and stand it upright on the floor. Insert the iPad case and screw in the bolt using the included Allen wrench. Now find your double's magnetic wide angle lens and place it here. Turn your double on by holding this button for three seconds. Take the power cord for the iPad you plan to use with your double and plug it into the charging head here. Wrap the cord around this section and set it in this slot. Insert the iPad upside down and plug in the iPad power cord. This will allow your iPad to charge while your double is charging. Now that your hardware is set up, let's set up your iPad. First, turn off iOS Rotation Lock. Now you'll have to pair Bluetooth with the double. Go to Settings, Bluetooth, and tap the row that says Double with a bunch of numbers after it. Download the Double app from the App Store on your iPad. Launch the Double app and create a new account. When you're done, you should see a battery status, height controls, and a park button. Now you need to set up your driver. You can use an iPad, iPhone, or Chrome browser to drive your double. If you're using an iPad or iPhone, download the Double Robotics app from the App Store. If you're using Chrome, just go to Drive, Dot double robotics dot com. Log in to the same account that you created on your double. Your double should appear on the map. Tap to begin a session. Chrome will probably ask for permission to use your camera and microphone. Click Allow. A full charge on the double battery should last you 8 to 10 hours, and charging takes about 2 hours. We recommend plugging your double in at the end of the business day so it's ready for use in the morning. Just plug the power cord into the back of the double and watch for the orange LED to indicate charging. When the LED turns green, charging is complete. 